Hey, it's Trish here from the MTech team, and I'm here today to help you get started with Google Cast for EDU. This has been a really common request this school year, and so we thought we would do a tutorial to help you get going. Google Cast for EDU is an extension that allows other Chrome-based devices to essentially project to the teacher's computer that is hooked up to the smart board or projector. It's a really nice way to be able to share your screens with the class um, without having to connect hardware such as a Chromecast or an Apple TV or something like that. And so this is a free and easy to use extension and it's perfect for our Chromebook classrooms. I also really love it because as a teacher, I don't want to have to be tethered at the front of the room. So I'm able to have my Google Cast for EDU set up on the teacher computer that's hooked up to the smart board at the front of the room. But now I can use my Chromebook and I can be somewhere else in the classroom. I could be working with students. I could be inking. I could be sharing different pieces with them and inviting them to do the same. So we can create a really nice collaborative learning environment. So really, we're going to be working through two steps. The first one is going to be setting up the teacher computer with Google Cast for EDU extension. The second step will be showing you how any student or anybody with a Chrome device can simply cast to that, no installations required. So we're gonna get started with step number one, which is installing the extension. And you do that by going to the Chrome store and looking for Google Cast for Education. Now, I will make sure that the link to this extension is going to be in the comment section below so that it's not difficult for you to find. You search for it, you make sure that you add to Chrome, and you are done. Now again, only the teacher computer needs to have this extension installed. Your students will be able to cast without having to have anything installed. So now that I have that, I'm going to have to set up my receiver. So I can see my extension is sitting up here beside my Omnibox. I'm going to go ahead and click that extension. And what it's going to do, let's pull the screen over, is it's going to get me to set up a receiver. That's the name of this teacher computer. So I'm going to call this teacher computer. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then you can, so it's default for full screen for new presentations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say save. So I can see that teacher computer is the name of the receiver in the bottom left hand corner here. And the next step is to make sure who is allowed to be able to cast to this device. So I can see my name and I'm the owner. I can add specific people. So for example, if I wanted my super awesome boss to be able to present with me, I can say that he can present. And what it will also allow me to do is it's automatically going to pull in all of the Google Classrooms associated with my user ID. What's wonderful about this is I could set up a Google Classroom and all of my students to automatically be able to present or where the teacher can present and students can request. What that means is there'll be a dialog box that will pop up in the bottom uh, right hand corner saying that so and so student wants to be able to present and you can accept that. Helps us to sort of have that classroom management and not have it be the wild west. But just keep in mind, even if you do have a couple of people in here as presenters, one person would have to stop casting for another person to be able to cast. So it's not a taking over each other situation. So I'm going to go ahead and add them. Now, what is lovely is once you've put people in there, let's say you wanted to make some changes to that, um, it doesn't have to be permanent. So I can go ahead and say, okay, Danny is done being able to present with me today. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that access. So you retain full control who can cast to your specific computer. So now that this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and I wanna be able to show you what this looks like from a student's computer view. All right, so now I am on my Chromebook as a student. So you can see that I've logged into my Chromebook um, and I'm ready to go. And let's say I want to be able to cast to the teacher's computer. So whatever tab I want to be on, you know, perhaps I'm doing some type of a, a game or something on to learn and I want to be able to show my teacher the high score of what I've been able to do. It doesn't really matter what the students are wanting to cast. Anybody who wants to cast simply goes to the three dots that are in the top right hand corner of your browser bar. Just zoom in there so you can see those lovely three dots right there. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to click those three dots and the students are going to go down to cast. What they're going to see is the receiver devices that have been set up. 
So this pull down arrow here beside where it says cast to, just so you know that when you click that uh, cast to, you're able to select um, that so the what type of a screen you'd like to share. Do you want to just cast the single tab you're on? Or do you want to cast your entire desktop? And I find often people want to cast their entire desktop simply because they want to be able to click between multiple tabs or show how to do something on a Chromebook. So I'm going to say cast my desktop. And the receiver name that we set up was called teacher computer. It's going to give me a warning. Are you sure you want to be able to share your screen? I'm going to go ahead and say share. And then it will start casting on the teacher computer. Now what you're seeing is this is my student view being cast to the teacher computer. So if the student was, you know, clicking through some activities, clicking through their different tabs, opening up a specific game or navigation that they were doing, all of this is being cast straight to the teacher's computer being able to show what's happening on their screen. This is this is an awesome way to really share that screen. And the same if you have students who are doing presentations, often we're trying to get them to email presentations or log in or log out, but students would be able to come up um, just being able to cast from the, any Chrome device that they're using and they would be able to simply cast their presentation to be able to share with the class um, their information or what it is that they were working on um, without having to actually email, save, um, wire in, any of those different types of things, they would be able to do that. And I'm just, I'm just clicking through all of my different um, slides here. This, I'm actually working on my Chromebook. I'm not working on um, the teacher computer whatsoever. So now on my student computer, if I'm ready to go ahead and stop casting, uh, what I can do is I'll see that there's a little um, blue cast icon that's up here and I simply click it. And what it will pull up is it'll show that I'm currently casting to the teacher computer. I can go ahead and I can say stop. This now frees back up the teacher computer for somebody else to be able to Go ahead and cast. Google Cast for EDU in a couple of seconds, and you're able to have anybody in the room on a Chrome device be able to project to your teacher computer. I hope this was helpful. If you still have any difficulties with this or you need a little M Tech support, just make sure to give us a call. Thanks, everybody.